In the past year, we've seen a significant upswing in cyber attacks, both in breaches across U.S. industry and government and in the money spent to fight them. Attackers have siphoned vast amounts of data from the likes of Home Depot, J.P. Morgan Chase, Sony, and Anthem. They hit government targets, the White House's internal networks, the State Department, and the Pentagon earlier this year. The recent breach at the Office of Personnel Management has gone down as one of the worst known breaches of government databases ever. It's hard to quantify the monetary damage any of these breaches did or could do, but the government does publish what it spends to help counter them. It allocated $10.3 billion in 2014 to harden federal networks against attack, and the Obama administration proposed $13 billion to do the same in 2015. Last year, the private sector spent some $4.1 billion on IT security. One problem, it's not clear the money is doing a whole lot to help. I mean, even though Jamie Dimon wrote in his shareholder letter that came out earlier this year, that the bank would be spending $250 million through 2014, um, hiring more people on cybersecurity, they were still vulnerable to an attack. As one lawyer writes in the Wall Street Journal, the big banks, big retailers, and big media companies whose hacks make the front pages are not being penetrated because they've skimped on security out of sloth, stupidity, or greed. And there's evidence those massive government budgets still aren't enough to patch all the gaps. It only took one government agency that had not taken the simple step of updating its server software to open the door to an unprecedented and alarming cyber attack believed to be by the government of China. The problem is, is that we've got very old systems. What's worse, the Office of Personnel Management's Inspector General warns such breaches are likely to become more frequent. So what do you do? Legislate it? And tonight I urge this Congress to finally pass the legislation we need to better meet the evolving threat of cyber attacks. If we don't act, we'll leave our nation and our economy vulnerable. Or for stricter adherence to existing guidelines. Following the OPM breach, the White House ordered federal agencies to tighten up security. Or maybe it just needs more money. The president's proposed 2016 budget would allocate $14 billion to government cybersecurity, more than it had to work with in 2014 or 2015. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.